Hello darlings, it's Dion Dean here with another thrift haul video. And let me tell you that I was not intending to do be doing any thrift hauls um, this soon in the game. You guys know that I have kind of cleared out or clearing out eBay. So there's no real reason for me to really be in stores unless I want to be in stores, right? But I had some time on my hands and I was in Fort Worth and I was like, you know what? Let me go see what's going on at the Goodwill Outlet. Um, and I think it was more like, not necessarily go to go look at stuff, but for you guys who are like thrifters for real, you know that sometimes all you need is just like a good place to just sift through and like it just clears your mind. And I know it may sound crazy to those of you who are not thrifters, but sometimes, you know, going through the racks and it's just, for me, it's fun, right? It's not, and once again, if you're a thrifter, you know what I'm talking about. It's the thrill of the hunt. It's fun. It's relaxing. Um, and that's how I think like people who are called to thrift and people who are just like jumping on the bandwagon. It's two totally different things. Because when you love thrifting, like you see a big junk pile of whatever and you're like, I'm ready to go. Whereas other people are just like, no, I'm not doing that. Anyway, um, took the camera along with me. And so here you go. Here's me at the um, Goodwill outlet in Fort Worth. And then I'll be back to show you what I found, what I dug up. All right, let's go. Well, hello, guys. I am currently digging my way through the baskets here at the Google Outlet here in Fort Worth. And I was like, you know what? I need to vlog this. So I already have a cart full of stuff. Let's see, what's this? Pretty skirt. But I already have a cart full of stuff that I will definitely be going through um, after this. I basically had just free, some free time and I was like, you know what? <sighs> Let me just go dig through some bins. This is like therapy for me. Um, I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do with all this stuff because you guys know I shut down eBay. I may have to <laughs> bring it back to life just in case. Um, but here's some Joe jeans that were $7.99. Hmm. These are gonna go in probably. Let's, let's see how they look. Crotch is okay. This is okay. All right, let's put that in. Let's put that in there. So yeah, just want to kind of show you. I don't wear gloves, and there are a lot of people here that are wearing gloves, and I feel kind of silly. But um, it is what it is. So yeah, I'm gonna finish here, go through a few more of these bins, and then we'll chat. Okay, so I've made a little bit of progress. I made my way down, and I'm all the way down here now. I still have a few more bins to go and then I'll probably I'm going to pan around so you can see. So yeah. So I'll be here for about another hour. But I wanted to show you what I had got or what I'm finding thus far. Um, so yeah. So here's this. Um, 849 it's okay but it's like not my thing um, let's go through that it's gonna be a little difficult to dig while you're here but I just want to show you some of the things that you can find coffee shop looks like a big oversized jacket big collar and a hood cute let's see, let's see. Nice suit jacket. Cute stuff. Let's see. Some maternity in here. Yeah, so there's a lot to go through. Let's see. There's a black skirt. I don't know who that's by. But yeah, I'm going to continue to dig. Just want to show you all the stuff I'm finding. What's this? Fun for something. Let's check it out. Let's see what it is. Carefully, it's a cape. Oh no, it's not a cape. It's just a like a throw. All right, let's go. Okay, so let's talk about this part. I posted this video on my personal Facebook and Instagram and um, my Facebook page. It's styled Dion Dean, and people were like, "What?" So for those of you who have not been to a Goodwill outlet, what happens is as the bins get low, um, the Goodwill employees bring out, they take the empty ones out and they bring out full ones. Well, when they bring out the full ones, you stand behind a line so that nobody gets hit with the big 
um, the big bins. But then when they leave, it's like mayhem, right? Trying to get to the bins. But uh, take a look. <laughs> Wasn't that crazy? I had to catch that moment. I was like, people who have never been to a Goodwill outlet, I wanted them to be prepared for when they decided to go. I basically like sat back and I mean, people like you stand along the line and people are supposed to stand like next to you. They were like people who were just trying to push their way. And, you know, I'm saved. But if you touch me, all bets are off. I was really trying to keep my composure because I was like, why are you why are you in my personal space like this? I don't understand. Why are you so why is your back to my front? What? <sighs> Jesus kept me. Okay. That being said, um, so you got to see it was mayhem. And that I was watching people as they were going through, and they it was weird to see what other people are digging for. I saw people digging for like um pots, pans, utensils, um, like Christmas ornaments. Um, anything that was in a box, like whatever it was, they just grabbed the box. Cause I guess you never know what's in it. It's kind of like storage wars, I guess. Right. But you know, once they kind of dispersed, there were clothes and shoes and other things in there. So I just let them go in and clear it out, I guess for me, um, to make way for me. So, um, let's get to what I actually dug up. I got two bags of stuff. Oh my God. Two bags of things to go through and this all came up to $16. Now, you're saying to yourself, well, Dion, you're not doing eBay anymore. So what are you going to do with the stuff? I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, I'm probably going to either put them in some boxes or do like a flash sale on eBay or do like, I was thinking about doing like a Dallas garage sale for all of my fellow thrifters in Dallas and just like take my finds somewhere and like do a pop-up shop. I don't know. But, you know, if I find a pair of jeans that are like $100 for 50 cents, I'm going to buy it. That's just a hustle in me, right? All right. So let's start off with bags, right? So I found this bag. Oh, let me move back a little bit. So I thought it was very, very... Um, very cool. I right now, my, I'm changing up my, um, my vision board. Let me show you. And right now I'm all about, um, Gucci and the new creative director at Gucci, Alessandra Michelle. And this is very much in line with what Gucci is doing right now with the, um, decals or not even necessarily decals but the flowers and taking it back to the 60s so when I saw this that's what I thought about um this would definitely be something that's for sale if it was a clutch oh my gosh I would have lost my mind if this was a clutch yes god but it's not so and it's it's like brand new it's beautiful so yeah oh that was at the Goodwill for five dollars Oh, sorry. Was that the good one for $5? So yeah, practically new on the inside. So there's that. Um, this I thought was really cute. I'm all about the tassels. This is so spring. If anybody of anybody out there is about the spring trends, I really like this. Um, has like a little spot or whatever. But somebody will, will love it. I don't know. It's going to go into a, a thrift box, probably. Um, this bag, this tote bag, very cute. And it is a Neiman Marcus tote bag. 
Can you see that? So I found that. That was cute. And a lot of this stuff was like new. It was weird. And then out of that same bin that we saw, this is what I'm saying. Like, I don't know what people were digging for. Out of that same bin, um, these were in there. The same bin that I showed where people were like diving in. These were in there. A pair of Michael Kors, Michael Michael Kors pumps. And they have like some mud. I'm just going to clean that off. But for the most part, I mean, they're pretty cool. And these are a nine and a half. So that's going to be, oh, look, it's got the little Michael Kors detail. Can you see that? So yeah, this was in there. I'm just like, who leaves this in there? Right? So I'm either going to put this, I'll probably just put it up on eBay. I mean, the eBay site is not closed. It's just, I'm not loading things into it. Y'all pray for me. Okay. So let me put this back in the bag. Um, yeah, it's so weird. It's like, I'm not focusing on eBay. So why the heck am I buying stuff for eBay? I just, it's that hustler in me. It's just like, oh, you know how much I can get for those shoes? <laughs> so here's some Joe's jeans and they keep the price on them. So at the Goodwill, it was $7.99. Um, but these were found in the, in the bins and Joe's jeans and they're relatively new. Like everything was like good quality and stuff. It's so, wow. And then... I got this J. Jill skirt. It's like a micro suede, I guess. Very pretty. I got, I love this skirt. I'm all about black and white. This is not my size, so I don't even know why I'm thinking like that. It's by Worthington. But this was so cute. Isn't that cute? It's like a large, I think. Yeah, it's a large. And so that was really cute. And then I, now this sweater's from me. Once again, talking about um, Gucci, the new creative director. If you took, if you look through any Elle, Vogue, whatever magazine, it's very much this, like, this aesthetic. And I just fell in love with this. This is probably my favorite piece um, that I've purchased. Just a sweater. With a little bow. I said, I'll, "What I'll probably, what I will do is wear like a um, a cream colored blouse under this. I'll I'll style it for you and, and take some pictures on Instagram. Um, I am Dion Dean, so you can take a look. Then I saw this. I thought this was really cute. I have um, there are a lot of I'm not a lot, but I have um clients that um have to do uh casual Fridays and stuff like that. As you saw, you saw Nicolette. She's one of my clients. Um, very professional wear. Um, and I actually do, you know, send thrift boxes to those clients. And so I thought this would be really cute. So if I had a client that was corporate, I thought this would be cute with some jeans. This is a gap, 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 uh, blazer. And this in the store was eight forty nine. Let's see, let's keep going. This, I love. I saw this. This is like on the bottom of the bins. So I was like, oh my God. This is a Coldwater Creek jacket. Once again, professional wear. Love this. I love the back. Look at the back. Look at the stitching in the back. Isn't that cool? Love the, the colors. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I found a lot. I mean, this $16 and I'm not done yet. I have like five or six more pieces to do. Um, Ann Taylor, this is a size 18 blazer. Gorgeous. And I didn't even know Ann Taylor went to a size 18. I might actually keep this for myself. This was $8.49 regular Goodwill. So yeah, perfect. That's what I'm saying. If you're like, um, trying to build a professional wardrobe, you should definitely holler at me for a thrift box. We can get you styled. This is by Millie. So this is a designer skirt. And they were selling for $4.79. And so I was just like, what? Gotta get that. All right? So that's cute. And then, oh, okay. Yeah, two more. Two more pieces. This. Isn't this stunning? I hope that you can see like the magenta and the blue. Oh, that's gorgeous. 
Oh my gosh. See, it's like when you're when you're a stylist and you have people that you work with, you're always thinking about them. So it's weird because I'm not necessarily doing eBay, but I'm still shopping for them in my mind, right? Um, and shopping for their boxes in my mind. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And so this, and the thing is like, you can see and it's like, oh my gosh, she would look this, she would look fabulous in this and she would look fabulous in that. Love it. Love that I'm able to help women on a budget maintain their sexy. So here's another one. This is Banana Republic. I thought this is a heavier coat. I don't know if you can kind of tell. Um, but yeah, this all came from the bins. Isn't that crazy? Oh my gosh. So yes, Banana Republic. There you go. So like, if you have the time, I mean, make, make time. It is a lengthy process to go through the bins. I'm not going to lie. You have to be patient. Um, but look at all the, the fabulous professional wear that I bought. And this all came up to $16. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Eight blazers, eight tops, eight blazers, one cardigan, two a skirt, a pair of jeans, two bags, and yeah, 16 bucks. You can't beat it. So that was my trip to the Goodwill Outlet. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this stuff. I'm phasing out eBay, but apparently my spirit is like, you still have work to do. No, I'm probably going to set them aside for some thrift boxes that I'll put together. So just want to show you that. I love you. We never pay retail. Follow me. I am Dion Dean um, on Instagram. Let me know your thoughts. If you've been to the outlet, definitely. I want to see some of your YouTube videos. I know that you guys are on YouTube. Please let me see what you guys are thrifting and hauling. I would love to support you. So um, leave your links below and love you. We never pay retail. Talk to you later. Bye.